Let's see the basic navigations and shortcut keys in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. First, you will see this project browser. It is a window where you can view and access projects in UEFN. Under My Projects, you will see the custom created UEFN projects in the Creative Islands. Under Island Templates section in the Project Browser shows some pre-built island templates. You can start with any island you like. Under Feature Examples, you can find some example templates that you can open and use for learning purposes. Just select any island template and create a project. You will see these default windows whenever you load default editor layout. This is viewport window. This one is content browser. This is outline a window. You can even drag windows according to your preference. You can always change it to default editor layout whenever you wish. In viewport window, by holding down the right mouse button and moving your mouse, you can easily rotate your view around a fixed point. If you want to zoom in and zoom out, just hold down the left mouse button and move it. If you need to move in a certain direction, use the WASD keys. Hold down the right mouse button and use the WASD keys to move forward, backward, left, and right. If you need to view up or down, just hold down the right mouse button and use the NQ keys. In the above, you can see the file menu. This is where you can open up your existing levels, save your progress, or create a brand new project. If you haven't created a new project using one of your existing islands, you can also create a new level from an island. Simply select this option and choose from the islands you have available. This will create a new level or map inside your current project, rather than starting a new one from scratch. In the Edit menu, you'll find all your normal editing options like Copy, Paste, Duplicate, and Undo. The Window menu, which provides access to all the different windows in UEFN. This is especially helpful if you accidentally closed a window and want to reopen it. Next is the Tools menu, which contains tools such as Project Size and Revision Control. These tools will help you to manage your projects more efficiently. The Verse menu is where you can explore your Verse code. You can build your code and open it in Visual Studio Code. Build menu enables us to build some of the essential items that we may need to add in the map. The Select menu, where you can see all selecting options. You can also add light and static meshes from this menu. Furthermore, we have the Help menu that provides access to documentation and other resources that can be useful when working on your maps. In the below we have the Save option, then we have the Selection mode, when you can select Landscaping, Modeling and Animation options. Then under the Project can have the All Project settings like Publishing the Project and Save options. In the Quick Create option, you can have the option to add actors like Lightings and Cinematics. You can event find the Fab Marketplace where you can buy or download assets for your maps. This is for the Verse Programming. And this is for launching this session. In the below, you can choose perspective or view mode, like from which view you can view the map. It is just the time of the day. You can change the time of the day like any time you want. And scalability feature is really important. You need to change according to your PC specifications and rendering power. Here we have four options, Select, Move, Rotate, and Scale. To scale an item, just click, then click the object, then scale it using these three arrows. If you want to rotate an object, just click Rotate and select the item and rotate like this. By default, movement is smooth, but snapping can be enabled to snap to a set value. 
and this can also be adjusted to suit our needs. We can also snap rotation to a set degree, with options for enabling or disabling scaling snapping and setting the snap amount. We have the option to switch between different viewport modes, with the ability to adjust settings for each one. From the content drawer you can import device us and contents into the map. You can access the content drawer tab using control and space bar. Try simply scaling, moving to get hang on with the tools. Then in the outline a window, you can see all the objects that you added in the map. To change details to any of it, just click and under the details you can change it. So, these are the basic navigations in the new Unreal Editor for Fortnite. If this video helps, use code MISSIONTHEITEMSHOP to support the channel.